it's pretty clear that our party has won two seats in the House of Representatives and we're looking at Hinkler. We think that's another possibility as well as the seat of right. Clive, Mark Riley here. As a, if you are a Member of Parliament, what happens to your business? What happens to the Titanic project? What happens to your mining businesses? What happens to Palmer? Of course. Yep. Well, they, they all continue, of course. The constitution of this country never envisaged we'd have public servants that live from the, from the, from the cradle to grave in Parliament House in Canberra uh, removed from the people. They envisaged that people would come in and serve in Parliament for one or two terms contribute to the nation and the ideas to get the country moving and move on and that's what we'll do. So you'd see no conflict of interest though Clive uh, between Look, representing... Uh, mate, I, I've, got, I, I've got more money than you could ever dream of. What's the conflict <laughs> of interest? I want to get the ideas going, you know? I've got more money than you could ever dream of. I've got more money than you could ever dream of. I've got more money than you could ever dream of. What's the conflict of interest? I want to get the ideas going, you know? How much Sorry, money man, do you think I, I, I can I, get out of the I government? I'll tell, tell you what, Clive, I'm not, I'm not going to doubt that you've got more money than I can dream of. <laughs> what difference does that make? It means that you don't need to judge a person by how much money they've got. It's the content of their character that matters. But don't and you have to judge a public official, though, Clive, by the interest no, no, look, they have look, and this, the potential is, they have to make more money by um, having influence on a, on a parliamentary process? Does this guy ever shut up? That's, that's only if, uh, if you live your life based upon money is all you need. I can tell you now, you can only sleep in one bed, have one meal at a time. If you're lucky, go out with one woman at a time. Beyond that, it's illusion. It's like playing golf. I'm standing because I can serve the Australian people. Standing because I can serve the Australian people. Part of Chris uh, Barth here, I just want to ask you a question. If you do win four seats in the lower house, will you... How many? <laughs> four, four in the lower house, which is what four. Mr Palmer's saying. Four. If you, if you take four seats in the lower house, four. as incredulous as Jeff Kennedy Jeffrey. is, <laughs> behave, Jeffrey. Well, 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 the guy saying four was saying he won't even win one tomorrow, so <laughs> when are you going to realise you've got egg on your face, mate? OK, hang on a second. <laughs> if you win four seats in the lower house, are you still still going to challenge the AEC legally? Because that's what you were saying earlier yeah, well, this well, evening. I, yeah, I think we would. Yeah, we would challenge the AEC because even if you look at my seat of Fisher, they've got a two-party preferred vote saying it's gone to the LNP. So you well, take the AEC that's to court? No. Yeah, I think we'll take them to court. I've got enough money to spend on the AEC to give them a shake-up to make them a bit more accountable. Rupert Murdoch too, Clive. Are you ta still taking yeah, Rupert no. Murdoch to court as well? Well, Rupert Murdoch is a person who was sworn an oath of allegiance to a foreign country. Yeah, we know that. But you do, do, are you that. taking him to court? Yeah, well, you said right. you were well, taking him to court. You, you actually said you'd you yeah, we'll already you, I'm, you I'm not worried about lawyers. Rupert Murdoch. No, I'm not asking you worried about, about him, but you've issued you writs, have you? You've issued writs, have you? No. Listen to this guy. He's a bit of a joke, isn't he? We've talked, you know, we don't <laughs> issue a legal... Uh, a legal you know, it's not about that, is it? You're really? next. All this right, is I'm the sort of rubbish that you try to suggest that we no, need to be can elected. I just, can I just be have proven Bruce. wrong by the people no, no, of Fairfax. I, let's just let that can I just add, add one other wording. thing here? Right? OK, thanks we're very much. Bye-bye. We're the last bye -bye. country left on earth. <laughs>